In this video, we're going to set it up so that we can drop the objects we have picked up. And now that's going to be very simple to do. All we want to do is store the hit actor. And up here, if that actor is valid, we want to drop it and set it to simulate physics and then return. So what we're going to do is store that variable in here. And to keep things simple, I'm going to store the actor right below our interact function. So a actor held actor. So we're going to go to our dot cpp and where we have if hit actor equals hit result, what we're going to do is held actor equals hit actor. And then we're just going to change where we have hit actor to held actor just to keep it with what we're using. So now what we want to do is up here at the top if held actor is meaning it's valid we want to drop it and then after it's dropped we want to return so that way we don't pick up potentially anything else again until we uh, press E one more time. So now what we need to do is we need to detach it so held actor detach from we should have a yeah here detach all scene components well better yet let's give this a try first so f detachment transform rules let's do keep world transform so now we can go ahead and compile and see if this actually detaches so i'm going to print out a login here Call it detaching. And go ahead and build and restart Unreal Engine. So that's a live coding issue. Let me build one more time. And there we're good to go. So now, whenever we press E, we should at least get the message printed out. And with any luck, it will release the object. So I pick it up and I press E again. And I've dropped it. However, the problem is I can no longer pick anything else up because it's still trying to detach. The reason for that is we're not setting held actor back from null. It still thinks we are holding that actor. So what we want to do is we want to do held actor equals null pointer. So that way it's pointing to nothing. So now, control up F11, and we try it, I'll pick this guy up, I'll drop it, I can now pick this guy up, drop it, and keep going. Place them wherever I please, like so. So we want to reset these back to simulating physics. So what we can do is we can detach and then set simulate physics. So, we're going to do the exact same thing. We go ahead and we get, we're just going to copy this where we get the primitive component. And we're going to get it one more time. Remove our attached to component. And we're just going to do set simulate physics. Group. And build once more. So now, we pick this up. I press E, I drop it, just like before. So if I wanted to, I could be careful, I might not be tall enough, press E. You can stack the blocks up. Well, that's, eh, whatever. So now we can pick up and actually drop the objects. So I want to go ahead and position this a little bit better for the socket. That way our socket is pointing more in line with ourselves. So if I play the animation, idle, come over here to the skeleton tree, I can see the position of attachment socket. If you look at the angle, it is way up there to the right. So we want to move that over roughly in front. Let's go ahead and bring it down. 
and leave it about there. Now I hit save. When we pick up the object, it should be closer to in front, just like so. And now we can throw it if we wanted to. We can do pretty much whatever we want. I'll try to knock that tower down. That wasn't even close. And everything just works all like normal. So we can now pick up, interact, and throw objects. All due to this simple little interact function. I'm going to go ahead and remove the logs. And this is all we have. So we perform a line trace. If it hits an actor, we grab it and we attach it to ourselves. When we press E again, if we want to let go of the actor, we simply detach it and that's all. So we can separate these into functions to clean this up, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to call a new function, do void grab actor, and it's going to take in a actor. Then I'm going to do void release actor. And for release actor, I'm going to do nothing. So let's generate the implementations for these. And we can simplify our code a good bit. So what we're going to do is copy this entire section from our F vector to the end. So everything related to our line trace. Do grab actor. Better yet, I was thinking differently. Let's remove the parameter for an actor. We don't need that at all. So we have, here we have grab actor. And here we're going to have detach actor. Like so. So let's paste our section where we detach it. So if held actor, we will detach it. Now all we have to do is let's just remove it from here. So if held actor, we're going to detach. I can spell it. I call it detach or release. Oh, it's release. We're going to call release actor. Otherwise, we're going to grab actor. Now we just simplified this up tremendously, and it makes a lot more sense, in my opinion, to actually go through and try to delete it. So now anyone that looks at this, they can go, they don't have to you know, go through here and say, huh, I'm not entirely sure what this is doing. Instead, they come up, oh, if the held actor is valid, we release it. If it's not valid, we grab whatever we're pointing at. So that's all there is to it, and now when we run it, we have this very simple looking function that explains exactly what we're trying to do in a very simple and clean way. So I pick up this object, I release it. I press E. I call grab actor. Oh no, it's in my hands. I release it. So because it's valid, I call release actor. And that's all there is. So hopefully this was useful. And we got our basic interaction out of the way. And I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do next. But it's probably going to be something... I'm trying to think of ideas. So if you have any ideas of what you would like to see in this series, and try to keep them simple. Again, remember this is a beginner-focused series. So leave it as just a suggestion in the comments or something along those lines in my Discord, wherever. And I will gladly try to look at them and try to implement whatever seems like a good fit. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description. If you have any questions or anything like that, there's also a link to my Discord server down below. And I will help answer to the best of my abilities. So I will see you in the next video.